I'm sure we're all aware of Google Maps and Google Earth, and I'm sure we've all looked up our own addresses out of curiosity. But many strange things can be found on these websites. Anything from people wearing pigeon masks, strange hacks, to straight up disturbing locations. Today, we will be taking a look at disturbing things found on Google Maps. By the way, can you guys follow me on Instagram at my name is Tub and subscribe to my personal channel named Birdie? All right, enough of that. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, wait, guys, I actually want to tell you something really quick, and that's that we're going to be doing a Discord dating show. Yes, that's how desperate I am to... F <laughs> yes, that's how desperate I am to find my next e-girlfriend or e-boyfriend, you know. I don't care. Make sure to join the Discord. We're going to be doing it sometime in January. So my mods and I are going to be verifying ages, so we're going to ask for those IDs, right? So... Uh, obviously, it's all just for fun. It's gonna go on the second channel. So, uh, okay, now let's actually get into the video. Sorry for interrupting. Hello, guys. Welcome back to another video. And I'm so, I'm so happy because we hit 400,000 subscribers. Yo, the channel is growing incredibly quick. And I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'd rather be annoying and thank you guys in every video than never acknowledge your guys' existence. But seriously, thank you guys for clicking subscribe. Thank you guys for clicking like. Thank you guys for commenting. Thank you guys for liking me as a person. Thank you for everything, man. 400,000 subscribers. We started the year off with 19,000 subscribers and the hard work definitely is paying off. It definitely is. Wow, 400,000? That's a that's a crazy number. And my channel is super active getting at least like 200 to 300,000 views per video, sometimes even more. <laughs> and if you guys were ever looking for a channel community, make sure to join my Discord. You don't even have to join it. I, I love you guys in this community. And if you ever wanted a YouTube home, well, I got you. I would gladly invite you to the Tub channel. Just make sure to subscribe. <laughs> but seriously, like, I love you guys, for real. Like, for real, for real. You got, we're a community, bro. And you're not alone anymore. Oh, that sounded corny. Dude, I say corny a lot, don't I? That sounded soft, all right? And if you know me, you know I'm the opposite of soft. I am a super tough guy. Anyway, thank you guys for 400,000 subscribers. Yeah, before the list starts, I want to let you guys know that this is not um, all scary lists. This could be funny, weird, disturbing, just like the Strangers Websites video. So this is just Tubbs list. Yeah, let's get started with the video. Creepy Ghost Girl, Huntsville, Texas. In 2018, people were freaking out due to a ghost girl in Huntsville, Texas being caught looking at the camera behind a tree. It's honestly pretty creepy, as the girl seems to have no color, just a gray ghost. And behind that, we can see a figure with a dark cloak. As the internet was freaking out, a comment was posted by John Wells onto the original video, which now has 700,000 views. It reads, Ha 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 ha. That's my daughter. She was hiding while I shot the panoramic photo using Google Street View app. If you swing around 180 degrees from where she is, you can see an actual paranormal investigator setting up his equipment while his wife leaves through a magazine. Though some thought this was the end of the mystery, others were still skeptical. I'll read this comment by Bloody Pulp 88 So what you're telling me is your daughter just happens to be peeking around the corner with a very pale face, somewhat transparent. I think you just came on here to steal the comment section. I don't think that's your daughter. Yes, maybe you were here investigating at the time, but looking at that grayish slash transparent face, that could not have been your daughter. Plus, it's the typical peek around the corner like many spirits do. And you know what? It sounds kind of weird when you're telling someone, hey, that's not your daughter. Like, it, it's kind of weird, but... I kind of have to agree with this person on this one. I really like this comment by a person named Kirill25, and they say, Why girl gray? <laughs> and yeah, I have to agree with the commenters. I am questioning the authenticity of this John Wells person as well. He provides no actual proof that this is his daughter. The closest thing I could find to evidence was on his channel and in his first video. You can see the license plate and sticker on the car in front of him is from Texas. So is Ghost Girl actually a ghost or just an innocent girl that, that posed for a picture for her dad and then he posted on the Google Street View app, which I didn't even know was a thing. I didn't know you could post your own stuff on Google Maps. I guess we'll never truly know. But seriously, the girl is gray, She's straight up gray. So hey, we'll leave it at that. We got a nice gray girl somewhere behind a tree. Pigeon people, Tokyo, Japan. Oh yeah, I want to let you guys know, all the coordinates will be linked down in the description, alright? So, uh, if you guys want to check out all of these, go down in the description, not yet, give me the watch time. That is all I ask, and a like, alright? While I was doing my research, not everyone provided coordinates. They were just like, oh yeah, it's it, it exists, and I'm like, bro, link it, link it. But I got you guys, it's linked all in a Google document, so check it out after the video, okay? Okay, so here's one that I can't really provide much context for. Pigeon people in Japan. In a certain spot in Tokyo, Japan, these people can be found just looking at the camera. Kinda creepy. If you go behind them, well, they just 
They, they look at you. No matter how far away from them you travel, they're always looking at the camera. It's clear that this is an innocent prank, not some sort of like cult or anything, but the people in the masks could be students from a nearby art school, Musashino Art University. Funny enough, the same prank can be found 19 miles away in a restaurant. I don't know either, but honestly, it's pretty funny and it's an innocent prank that doesn't hurt anyone. I give it a nice 10 out of 10. I also want to say all my sources will be linked down in the description. I'm sorry, I forgot to say at the beginning. Yeah, all my sources, like always, will be linked down in the description below. Blood Lake. Baghdad, Iraq. Okay, so with the research I did, there is no solid answer. Every website or YouTube video that I visited has one of three different responses. Theory one, which is the most popular. This is real human blood from the Iraq war from people that were killed. This would be gallons and gallons of blood. I mean, yeah, it's possible, but it's also a haunting thought considering that the lake is half a mile long and I don't even know how deep it is. So let's head on to theory number two. Theory number two is a claim that butchers would cut their animals there and let their blood drain out of their bodies, though the blood would be brown at this point, so I don't really know if we could trust that one. But theory number three. This theory states that the color is like this because of chemical pollution. I have no explanation as to how chemicals can turn clear or whatever color the lake was before water into red, bright red. It's probably theory one, if I'm being honest. It's probably theory one. Chernobyl. Ukraine. Chernobyl is the name of a city situated in northern Ukraine near the border with Belarus. Chernobyl was largely abandoned following the disaster at Chernobyl nuclear power plant located nine miles away. Ukraine was part of the USSR on April 26, 1986, when the disaster occurred. An explosion and fire released large quantities of radioactive contamination into the atmosphere, which spread over much of western USSR and Europe. It is considered the worst nuclear power plant accident in history. Almost everyone there evacuated due to high levels of radioactive contamination. To this day, more than 7,000 people still live and work around this contaminated area, and a much smaller number have returned to the surrounding villages despite the risks. Though people still live there, it looks like a ghost town, a ghost town which we can visit right on Google Maps. My favorite part, and probably everyone's favorite part, is the Ferris wheel. It just looks so... That's like a wallpaper. That looks, I think it would be pretty fun to visit Chernobyl for a video. You know, explain all the facts, everything that happened, interview some people. So maybe one day we can make that a video. That would be really fun whenever I'm a bigger channel, obviously. Blurred Out House, Cleveland, Ohio. So if you go to this location in Google Maps, there's an entire house that is just blurred. I mean, we've seen faces be blurred on Google Maps, but I had never seen an entire house be blurred. But why? Well, that house has a horrible backstory to it. 2208 Seymour Avenue was home to a man called Ariel Castro. This man held three females captive, Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight, for over a decade. Inside, authorities discovered tape and chains which were used to restrain the women. And this is a really disturbing part of the story. But Ariel had a child with Amanda Berry and forced the other two women to deliver the baby. According to reports, the neighbors said the property was usually quiet, although, quote, sometimes you would hear music but I would never see the man come out or hear any noises. It's just like he was there, but not there. Upon realizing this, Google Maps took action and blurred the entire house. I mean, I don't know the reasoning for blurring the entire house. Like, I get horrible stuff happened there, but whole building blurred out. Giant Pink Bunny. Cuneo, Italy. This is a more popular one on the list, a very bizarre one. You guys may have seen this image floating around at some point while being on the internet of a giant pink bunny in the middle of a field. Photoshopped? No, it's very real. The 200 feet long and 20 feet high bunny, also known as Hayes, was placed on the hill in 2005 by art collective Gelatin from Vienna. Did I say that right? Or is it Gelatin? Something like, something like that. Hayes looks as if they fell from the sky with their heart, liver, and intestines spilled on the side. According to Gelatin, okay, I'm gonna say Gelatin. <laughs> According to Gelatin, the sculpture is supposed to make visitors feel like they're Lilliputans. Oh my God, what are these words? From the famous Gulliver's Travels. And it's an installation unlike any other. It's knitted. It took five years for Gelatin to finish knitting the soft and waterproof sculpture. Just like a regular stuffed toy, visitors can play with haze. You can also climb on top of it and simply relax while enjoying the views of the mountain. But like all good things in life, Hayes began to rot. Visiting Hayes now, all we see is his outline. So yeah, he definitely, uh, or they, they definitely decomposed 
to death. <laughs> Body being dragged to lake, Almere, Netherlands. Another extremely popular one is this boardwalk with what seems to be blood and people dragging something. A body, perhaps? What the image actually appears to show is a couple accompanied by a dark brown dog, perhaps a chocolate Labrador. And the supposed trail of blood is simply red stained wood that has taken on a darker appearance due to being wet, possibly because the dog jumped into the surrounding water and then dripped onto the wood. One of the owners told the son that he instantly recognized the image and laughs at the fact that his dog is now famous. That wood really looks red though. That, that looks like blood, bro. But yeah, apparently it's uh, just stained wood that became red because the water, I mean, because the dog was jumping into the water and stuff like that. Yeah. Creepy face, Ithaca, New York. This is gonna be a little quick one because there's not really much I can explain. It's just this creepy face right here. You can see the face shape, I guess, and you can see the two big black eyes and uh, definitely there's no way that's a ghost, dude. That, that has to be like, there's just shapes that came together. I, I don't believe that that is a ghost. You know, it could be, it could be. I believe in ghosts. Do you guys believe in ghosts? Because I, I do believe in ghosts. I believe in aliens. I believe in all of that stuff. I would love to make a video on aliens soon. I love aliens so much. Yeah, there's not really much to say. It's under a bridge. And uh, is that a beer? Bruh. Is that monster drinking beer? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Thalassophobia, Scotland. So Google Maps has this option called Underwater Earth, where you can see parts of the ocean in a 360 view. For the most part, it's beautiful, but they're all mainly just one screenshot. You can't move forward or backwards. But someone found an odd location where you're placed in what seems to be hell. I mean, it's, it's underwater, but it looks like hell. Going three steps forward, you can see that the cameraman was kind of stranded. Or maybe they just threw a device into the water. I don't know. The fear of deep waters is called thalassophobia. And I don't even think you need to have this phobia in order to be uncomfortable with this entire scenario. Trust me, when you guys click the link down in the description and go visit for yourself, this is... This, I think this is the one that scared me the most. And it's so funny because if you compare this to like the, their stock underwater earth places, they're so beautiful. They're so pretty. But this is it's just like, whatever, let's move on. Limousine interior. All right, so this one's just an Easter egg by Google, I'm assuming, but you can actually enter these vehicles. So if we click on the limousine right here, well, we can see the interior and it looks, looks pretty nice. I love the leather seats. We can get into this van as well. This van, this van looks pretty pimpy. Is that a word? Pimpy? This, <laughs> this van looks really, really nice and uh, hey, just a little cool Easter egg <laughs> where you can get inside of a vehicle and just check it out. Lunique 9, Slovakia. Lunique 9 is a community in Slovakia with about 6,500 people living in it. Unemployment rates are at 90% and poverty and disease is extremely high. Homes do not have heat, water, or gas. So this location was used back in the 1960s as a base for soldiers and police officers, but as time went on, low-income families started taking over. The average lifespan in Lunique 9 is 22 years old. Visiting it on Google Maps, we can see the extreme levels of trash on the ground, how old the buildings are becoming, but the worst part is probably seeing the kids that have nowhere else to go. Yeah, this is definitely the saddest one, I would say, on this list. Island of Dolls, Mexico. A few miles from the heart of Mexico City lies La Isla de las Muñecas, which is the Island of Dolls, where thousands of dolls hang from trees. The island, located in the Xochimilco canals outside of Mexico's capital, is definitely creepy. According to the local legend, the island's caretaker, Don Julian Santana, moved to the island in the 1950s after abandoning his family. It was in the canals outside of the island that he found the dead body of a drowned girl and her doll. Convinced that her spirit haunted the island, Santana hung abandoned dolls he found throughout the canals as a way to appease the dead girl's soul. The location is now kind of a touristy area I guess but I don't know how many tourists actually go out of the way to visit this but it's definitely creepy and uh if that legend is true which probably not in the Mexican and like Hispanic community we have so many legends that just weren't they didn't happen like I'm sorry to burst your bubble guys but La Llorona was never real or El Cucuy as Mexicans I think we just like we just have a lot of imagination <laughs> Scarecrow Village, Nagoro, Japan. Tsukimi Ayano is the, quote, Scarecrow Mother. She was born in the Nagoro Village, but moved away. When she came back in 2002, she realized that most of the people had left to find work in the city, making her once thriving town feel lonely and empty. Miss Ayano made her first scarecrow to look like her father and used it to protect the fields from crows. She noticed that the neighbors would always say hi to it, and so she began making more and more, eventually filling the village with them. Now there are over 200 scarecrows in this village, making it known as Scarecrow Village. Visiting it on Google Maps, we can see that, uh, I don't know if you guys ever watched South Park, but it, <laughs> it's definitely a uh, very interesting. If you go on Google Maps and just take some time to see how many you can count, 
where you can see them, what they're doing. Yes, again, it's a little bit creepy, but hey, let's let Tsukimi Ayano do whatever she wants with her life. I don't know how to end this one off, so uh, let's just uh, f slowly fade to black. Hill of Crosses, Lithuania. All right, so when I looked this up, it literally says on Wikipedia that it's unknown. This is unknown how it started, um, but obviously this is religious. It, it has a religious meaning and it's just a religious location. And if you guys go on it right now, or actually, I'll show you guys on the screen right now some of it. So as you can see, it's all crosses. It's all crosses. And the scariest thing is probably, oh my God, what is that? Yeah, it's a random woman right there on Google Maps. It definitely ruins the vibe. Why, why is there a random woman here? Guys, it looks like she's holding a black Earl bottle. So if you guys want to go, <laughs> if you guys want to go buy that, hey, link in the description. Like I said, there's not really much context that I could find, but definitely everyone can tell. This is a location where people most likely go to pray, go ask God for whatever people ask God for. Yeah, let's head on to the next one. Anonymous hack, question mark. All right, so this is my favorite one on the list simply because it's so, I've never seen this. I don't know if this is a real hack. I wasn't able to find that much information on it. So when we load it up, we can see the shadow of a man taking the Google images, right? So we usually we see these Google trucks that drive around and take pictures of everything. In some cases, we do have people with a 360 camera, such as this case. But someone on the website, I guess, hacked it and made it all anonymous masks. It's that V for Vendetta mask. It's so interesting because anywhere you go on the website, the masks just appear where the person is and other random spots. It is so interesting to me because if this is a hack, how has Google not done anything about it? And if it's not a hack, then it has to be some sort of Easter egg by Google. It is so interesting and I really love it. And it gets me hyped for the next video coming out, which is the most dangerous computer viruses on the internet. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And uh, we have one more video in December left, uh, you know, cause I'm, I was trying to grind and you guys know the deal. I got super sick, but we have one more video in December left. Definitely gonna try to get it out before New Year's Eve. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for 400,000. You, you guys make me so happy. You guys are the only reason I'm happy. Like not even to be sad or anything, but without YouTube, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have anything going for me. Straight up, I would not have anything going for me. I hated school, I hated college. I dropped out of college once I started making a good amount on YouTube. And it's all thanks to you guys. Like, I know I put in the work. I know I studied the YouTube algorithm. I know, I know. But like, without the audience, I'm nothing. And thank you guys, because I absolutely hate school. I don't like it at all. <laughs> and I don't plan on ever going back. But thank you guys for giving me this opportunity. And I won't fumble the bag, bro. I won't get canceled. I won't, I won't do anything stupid. All right. I'm not, and I'm not going to go Hollywood. If, you know, I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers, they go Hollywood. I already live in LA. So I'm already Hollywood. One of the things I take pride on is the fact that one, it's just me on the channel. Yes, we have the intro editor. His name is Charge, amazing person. But for the most part, it is just me. And I take pride in the fact that um, I would like to say I'm humble. <laughs> kind of funny that I'm saying that I'm humble, but definitely I don't, I don't ever, I don't plan on changing ever. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys at 500,000, but uh, I'll see you guys next time I upload.